Three Steps to Prevent COVID-19. This animation is presented by the Lutheran World Federation. Laos and Myanmar Program. Let me explain what is COVID-19. COVID-19 is a respiratory disease caused by a coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, that started infecting people in 2019. Because it was only recently discovered, scientists are still learning about it. So, it is important to keep up to date with new knowledge. It is important to be aware of asymptomatic spread. According to US CDC, over 50% of infections occur from people that don't have symptoms. The WHO says, we are most infectious one to two days before having any symptoms at all. Everyone can get infected and spread the virus. Some people are at higher risk for severe illness, including the elderly, obese, pregnant women, smokers, and people with health conditions. Young and healthy people must avoid bringing the virus into the home. Viruses like SARS-CoV-2 evolved to avoid immune responses. Delta variant can produce 1,000 times more virus in our respiratory system and spreads through the air two to three times easier than the original virus. It is important to make informed choices. Information shared on social media can misleading. It can describe individual cases or come from people with political bias. Rely on advice from WHO or other authority whose recommendations are based on science. Let talks about how the virus spreads. The virus spreads from an infected person's mouth or nose in small liquid droplets when they cough, sneeze, speak, sing, or breathe normally. We emit more virus when we sneeze, cough, shout, sing, or breathe heavily during exercise. First, the virus is mostly spread through the air from one infected person to other people less than 1 to 2 meters away. It is short range. Droplets and aerosols can go directly into the eyes, nose, or mouth of someone else, or they can be inhaled when we breathe. Second, the virus is also spread through the air from one infected person to other people further away. It is long range. The virus can also spread in poorly ventilated and or crowded indoor settings where people tend to spend longer periods of time. Finally, people may also become infected by touching surfaces that have been contaminated by the virus, then touching their eyes, nose or mouth without cleaning their hands. Of the 200 million cases worldwide, most were spread through the air. Just a few came from touching people or contaminated surfaces. The most effective way to avoid catching the virus is to avoid breathing the same air as someone else. Masks filter viruses from the air we breathe. There are two key reasons. The first reason is source control. Masks filter the air that we exhale to prevent transmission to others. Second reason is filtration for personal protection. Masks help reduce the amount of virus we inhale. This reduces the chance of being infected, or we won't get as sick. Make sure your mask fits tightly to your mouth and nose without air leaking out. Pinch the wire at the top of your nose to stop air leakage. Don't use a mask with a valve because unfiltered air passes through. Improve filtering by wearing two masks on top of each other. For a tight fit, attach a hair clip behind your head that pulls the air loops tightly back. A three-layer cotton face mask with nose pinch can work, as well as disposable medical masks. It is important to properly wear a face mask whenever outside the home where you live, even when visiting relatives, co-workers, or friends who appear healthy. If you have symptoms, Wear a mask all the time, both at home and outside. Carefully wash your mask with soap or dispose used masks. Wash your hands carefully with soap.
Here I like to share with you three steps to prevent COVID-19. First, get vaccinated. Second, practice risk avoidance behavior. Finally, practice risk reduction behavior. First, get vaccinated. The vaccine brands and technologies available in Southeast Asia are highly effective in keeping us out of the hospital. Even the Sinovac, Sinopharm, Covaxin, and Russian ones. Most unvaccinated people will soon be infected with the highly infectious Delta variant. Humankind can only control the pandemic and stop emergence of new dangerous variants when enough people get vaccinated. Let me share with you about the second step. Practice risk avoidance behavior. First, stay home and relax. Second, avoid crowds. Third, avoid confined spaces and open the windows and doors. Finally, avoid close contact settings with close range conversations, such as tea shops and interactive workshops. Let me share with you about the third step. Practice risk reduction behavior. First, wear a tight fitting mask whenever outside your own home. Second, reduce your exposure time. Third, stay more than six feet away from others. Finally, wash your hands with soap, especially after touching frequently touched surfaces. Combine these three prevention methods. Get vaccinated. Practice risk avoidance behavior, and practice risk reduction behavior. For example, if you have to go outside, plan your trip carefully to avoid exposure to the virus. In terms of location, open air spaces are safer than enclosed spaces. In terms of proximity, further away from others is safer than close together, and shorter time periods with others are safer. And don't forget to wear a face mask outside and wash your hands when you get home. So what to do if you have symptoms? First, everyone in your house should wear a face mask and wash hands often. Second, sleep and stay in a separate room and open the windows. Third, stay hydrated, eat well, get plenty of sleep. Fourth, check your oxygen levels. Seek medical advice if below 94%. Finally, lie on your stomach or side if you have trouble breathing. COVID-19 is preventable. Be a family hero. By working together as a household. To keep the virus out. Thanks for watching.